Now we're up to A5, and A5 is a straightforward nine patch block. You're gonna assemble it in three different rows. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna assemble the flying geese units, which are two rectangles made with three triangles each. And I have um, my, my uh, pieces laid out. So basting's gonna be a little tricky here. I think, I normally like to do all the same color, all the same size, all the same way, which would mean, you know, hypotenuse first, then the legs, hypotenuse first, then the legs. Well, if I do that here, I'm gonna have these tags clashing in every corner. So what I'm gonna have to do is do some of them one way and some of them the other so that I don't have as many clashing tags. So for example, I'll have the hypotenuse first on this one, then the legs, but this one will be the legs and the hypotenuse, so then the tags are going away. And then I'll have to adjust the black triangles as I go as well. Because of this, I'm gonna be doing these in sections. So the first thing to do would be to start with my flying geese units on this bottom row, right here. And uh, my squares, I do opposite size and then opposite size for basting. It gives you the least amount of bulk when you, if you try to do the round robin thing. For I don't, I don't prefer it. It doesn't give you as crisp of a corner, in my opinion. But you can do what you want. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started with basting this bottom row so that I can get these units together and assemble the row. Now I've got my pieces basted and my tags on my blue triangles, they're going to go away from the black. The black triangles tend to clash right here, so I've basted them differently so that when I put my units together, they're going to go together better. So now I can go ahead and form my units and form my row. I've got my units put together and you can see that my tags are nesting really well. And when I put these together, it'll go right into here. And that one is supposed to actually be down like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put these together. So now I've got my flying geese units put together. And I can go ahead and attach my squares to make the row. So I've got my row completed. Now I'm going to go on to the next row. I've got this laid out here. And I'm going to go ahead and base these similarly the way I did to this other row here. So I've got my pieces basted. I've basted my tags away from my center square. If you remember on this row, I basted it towards the center square, so now they're not going to clash as much. They don't clash here, but they do clash on this triangle over here, and um, my black don't clash either. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble my flying geese units, and I can get my row started. So I've got the units in the center row all assembled. So we got the two flying geese here and the two flying geese here. And I need to make sure that they're facing the square, the bottom, so the blues are all touching. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble this row. So I've assembled the center row. I've gone ahead and used the blue thread because it's all blue on both sides. So I didn't want my black, st black stitches to show. So now I'm going to go ahead and attach this to here. And again, I'm going to use the blue thread on this section of the seam. And then I'll use the black on these two sections. So I've attached these two rows. And so this is what your front should look like right now. So the next thing to do would to be make this double flying geese unit so that I can make the last row. So I've assembled this double flying geese unit here and I'm gonna go ahead and finish forming this last row. So I've got my final row made. When I attach this last square though, I don't know if you can quite see this, it's the, the growth, I wasn't able to really soak up the growth. So there's this big step here and there's a little step here. So I tried to soak up as much as I could by, you know, squishing this down and all that jazz but obviously I didn't succeed very well so what I'm gonna do is when I attach this to this I'm gonna make sure that I bring this corner to this black corner because the idea is to have this line in a straight in a straight line so 
that means that if I just stick this on here, the blue will match up, but then there's going to be this big gap. So I want to make sure that I put this blue corner on the edge of this black triangle. So I'm going to force this into submission, but it's going to be a little tricky. So let me get to doing that. So I've connected the final row to the other two, and now my A5 block is complete. 